using a TI-8384 plus calculator for inferences about means from two independent populations. This video uses example two from section 9-3 titled, Are We More Creative with Blue? And example three from section 9-3 titled, Confidence Interval for Creativity Scores. We begin by providing the procedure for a hypothesis test using example two, followed by the procedure for confidence intervals using example three. For a hypothesis test, begin by pressing the stat button, then using the arrow key to select tests from the top menu. Select two SAMP T test for a hypothesis test with the population standard deviations not known. Select 2SAMP Z test for a hypothesis test with population standard deviations known. In this example, we select 2SAMP T test for a hypothesis test with population standard deviations not known. For input, select data if the two sets of sample data are already stored in the calculator as lists or select stats if you know the summary statistics of sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample size for both samples. If you select data, proceed to enter the list names for sample one and sample two. Then enter one for frequency one and frequency two. In this example, we have the summary statistics, so we select stats and proceed to enter the sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample size for both samples. For X1, we enter 3.39. For SX1, we enter 0 0.97. N1, 35. X2, 3.97. SX2, 0 0.63. And N2, 36. Next, we select the type of test, two-tailed, left-tailed, or right-tailed. We select the format corresponding to the alternative hypothesis. For a two-tailed case, select the option does not equal mu2. For a left-tailed case, select the option less than mu2. And for a right-tailed case, select the option greater than mu2. In this example, we select less than mu2. If using the T distribution, as in this example, you will see a line displaying pooled. It is recommended that you select no so that the sample variances are not pooled. Select yes only if you are making the assumption that the population variances are equal. Use the arrow keys to select calculate, then press enter. The results include the test statistic of t equals negative 2.979 rounded and the p-value of 0 0.0021 rounded. In this example, the p-value is less than the desired significance level of 0 0.01, so we reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the red background group has a lower mean creativity score than the blue background group. This supports the conclusion that the higher creativity scores were achieved by the subjects with the blue background. But the results do not justify the conclusion that the blue background is the cause of the higher creativity scores. To create a confidence interval, press STAT, then use the arrow key to select tests from the top menu. Select 2 SAMP T interval for a confidence interval with the population standard deviations not known, or select 2 SAMP Z interval for a confidence interval with the population standard deviations known. In this example, we select 2 SAMP T interval. Once again, select data if the two sets of sample data are already stored in the calculator as lists, or select stats if you know the summary statistics of sample mean, sample standard deviation, and sample size for both samples. In this example, we select stats and proceed to enter the summary statistics for both samples as shown. For C level, enter the desired confidence level. In this example, we enter 0 0.98.
If using the T distribution, as in this example, you will again see a line displaying pooled. It is recommended that you select no. Select yes only if you are making the assumption that the two population variances are equal. Use the arrow keys to select calculate, then press enter to view the results. The confidence interval is displayed on the first line. In this example, we are 98% confident that the limits of negative 1.05 and negative 0.11 actually do contain the difference between the population means. Because those limits do not contain zero, this confidence interval suggests that there is a significant difference between the two means. Also, because the confidence interval consists entirely of negative values, there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that the red background group has a lower mean creativity score than the blue background group. This supports the claim that blue enhances performance on a creative task as claimed by the researchers. But again, we should be careful to avoid a statement that the blue background is the cause of the higher creativity scores.